Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the Gossip Closet, where we get to gossip all about perfumes and everything in between. So, let's get started. Alright you guys, on today's video, on today's video, it is going to be a really fun and exciting one because I have here a brand new perfume from the house of Dolce & Gabbana and we have here Violets which is kind of like a random release I was not expecting this so I did went to Ulta and I bought this one now I did get the 1.0 fluid ounce and this is an Eldo Toilet I'm surprised that this one's called Violets because they do have one in a purple bottle called I want to say Peony I'm not fully sure I am familiar with this line of perfumes. I do have three of them. I have the garden one, which I think is the pink one, the yellow one, shine, and then the green one. I don't have the red ones. I don't have the other purple one, but I do like and enjoy the Dolce line. I think it's just called Dolce. So we finally got another one. We got another flanker, and this one's called Violet. I did read the notes. Now, this is not going to be my first impressions, and this is not a blind buy because I do know what this smells like. I did have a sample of it, and I did test it out. And I do have some thoughts and opinions. So let me just open this up and we'll get to the scents. All right, so first things first, the packaging, beautiful. I really enjoy these little bottles. I think these bottles are so, so cute with the little flower on top. And I believe these are always released around springtime. And it's very, very fitting for this perfume. But I really like the packaging. I really like the purple. I think it's really, really really cute all right so before we do jump into the scent i want to say that in the back of the box it has three notes it has notes of cassis violet and vanilla which is just three regular notes but if you go to the dolce and gabbana website they do have a little bit more than just that also on the Ulta website they did list some notes for this perfume all right so i'm gonna read the notes for this perfume from the dolce and gabbana website so this one has top notes of cassis that combines with sparkling Madagascar Mandarin with the soft floral freshness of Cyclamen Accord. The middle notes are charming essence of violets combined with juicy facets of blackberry and sun-drenched pear. And the base notes are sandalwood and Madagascar vanilla. So nothing too complicated, nothing that is going to make you go, hmm. And on the Ulta website, this one has top notes of black currant. The middle notes are violet, and the base notes is Madagascar vanilla. So it's a little bit kind of different, but I think Dolce and Gabbana just tries to make it sound a little bit more, I don't know, indulgent, if I may. So yeah, it is described as a fresh, fruity perfume. And you guys, that is exactly what this perfume is. It's a really nice, fresh, fruity, floral perfume. But I do think this is also a really nice creamy soft vanilla and which is why i picked this up all right so yeah the the first initial hits it's so fruity it's so fresh it's definitely a springtime summertime type of perfume it's just this is a how do i say it? this is a not complicated perfume i feel like this is a everyday type of wear perfume this is something that i would see myself reaching for on a regular day it is a really nice floral perfume. So yeah, at the beginning of this perfume, you do get that nice, fresh, clean, soapy, yet floral type of scent out of this perfume, which is really, 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 really what I like. But I think I personally enjoy the dry down on this perfume a lot more than just the initial first hits because it, it does come off a bit soapy, a bit shampoo-y, fresh, clean, and not like I said, nothing too complicated. It's a really nice, pretty, everyday type of scent. But I have to say, the dry down on this perfume is what I really, really like because it dries down to something creamy. It's uh, The vanilla is very, very smooth, very, very creamy. Now, I do like the fact that this is an Eau de Toilette, so it's not too strong and it's not too powerful. I did pay $66 for the 1.0 fluid ounce, but you know, I did have a 
points with Ulta, so I ended up paying uh, $10 for this or something around that. And I don't think I would buy the bigger bottle for myself, only because I don't think I'm gonna be using this like crazy, like every single day. I think this is something more for like a chill day or hey, I'm gonna go to the store really quick and I wanna put on something that's not too offensive, just something nice and clean, yet sweet. This is what I would love to wear. Or maybe even after the shower, when you get out of the shower, this is what you would wanna put on to keep that freshness, cleanness, yet a bit sweet that is the perfect perfect perfume for you if you are into like those type of vibes and even though it is a nice soft perfume i do feel like this does linger nicely in the air again it is an elder toilet it's not an elder parfum so it's not going to leave a trail but it is going to to stay with you around like when you're talking to someone it is going to be like right there in your little surrounding which is what i like so back to the dry down so yeah the dry down is really really nice and creamy it's very soft and very sweet i think the vanilla in this is just uh, it's blended well and i really really like it and for some reason i'm getting something bubblegum it smells like uh like pink bubblegum but it also smells like grape soda it's sweet like a pink bubblegum like hubba bubba yet fresh like grape fanta or grape kool-aid that's the vibes that i'm getting out of this perfume but it's still very nice and sweet creamy and the vanilla like i said the vanilla is really really nice in the dry down of this perfume but this perfume stays fresh clean and the floral in this perfume it stays nice and soft this is not just a floral perfume this is not just a fruity perfume this is not just a sweet perfume i think this is a perfect perfume of all three combined together which is what i like this also gives me blackberries type of vibe like a juicy blackberry or maybe like a blueberry it smells almost like that like juices of a blackberry or a blueberry yet still stays sweet so yeah you guys this is not a complicated perfume this is really really nice it's also really elegant i'm getting elegance out of this perfume it's just really really nice it's pretty it's soft it's just a really really nice perfume and i really like this so i'm gonna wear this today because it's just really, really nice. And I have to be honest, when it's an Eldo Toilet, I do like to go a little bit heavy on the perfumes because, I don't know, I feel like Eldo Toilets get a bad rep for not being long-lasting perfumes, but I think some Eldo Toilets are supposed to not last a long time. For people who don't necessarily like strong perfumes or intoxicating perfumes, I think that's what an Eldo Toilet is supposed to be. But no, I really like how this just lingers around my space it just smells really really good so if you are into sweet floral yet fruity perfumes this one's gonna be right up your alley it does smell nice and clean it's sweet fruity i do get that blueberry i do get that blackberry but it also smells kind of like a like a grape soda yet bubblegum that vanilla note it's really really nice and sweet and creamy so if that sounds like something you would like i would pick this up this is definitely a safe blind buy and if you are a fan of dolce gavana dolce line you're most likely going to like this one as well personally i am enjoying this one so i'm gonna go in a little bit more because i really do like this perfume it's just really nice sweet pretty floral and fresh so yeah this is the newest flanker from dolce and gabbana and this one's called dolce violet highly recommend this but all right you guys that is pretty much for today's video that is pretty much it for today's review if you guys like this video and found it helpful please give this video a huge thumbs up that lets me know that you guys are enjoying my content if you're new to my channel hi my name is edgar oh and i am obsessed with everything in the fashion world especially perfume so if that sounds like you stick around click that subscribe button click that notification bell to get notified for every single time i upload but all right you guys as always thank you for watching and i can't wait till we gossip on the next one until then i'll See you next time. Bye.